Did I say more? And no, it's not a MacBook Air. Go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered no man, I still go. go. There's a new Windows machine called the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED 2023 edition. It is the follow-up to the first ZenBook 14 OLED which came out in 2021. It is 14.9 millimeters thin, it weighs 1.2 kilograms. It has a 14 inch display panel which Asus calls the Lumina OLED display. It is Intel Evo 35, it runs on the Intel Core Ultra 7 with Intel Arc graphics and of course, an NPU. So if you're looking for a productivity laptop and you're not impressed by what you're seeing right here, chances are you're looking for something more. But if you are, then this is like a MacBook Air for Windows. Being a Windows machine, the new thing this year is AI. If you belong to that niche group of people that do take advantage of an NPU, I would also like to hear from you in the comments. Do you use LLMs? Do you train your own AI model? Do you use generative imaging software like Stable Diffusion? Let me know. But I found that the easiest way to demonstrate NPU use is through the Humble webcam. This is the default Windows camera software. It now comes with video effects, post-processing effects. There's auto-framing, there's eye-tracking, and then there's also the portrait mode and the background blur. I'm gonna put up a sample video right now and you can take a look at the image quality, at the video quality. Like that, right? So it tries to detect a face. And if that face moves, so with the software part out of the way, there are really three things that sell this laptop. Display, build quality, and to a lesser extent, the battery. Go, go. Beginning with the display, this is a 14-inch 3K OLED display panel with HDR support and a native refresh rate of 120 hertz. It covers 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut and it displays true blacks with 600 nits of brightness. And what's interesting about the display on the ZenBook 14 OLED is that it comes with Gorilla Glass. Then for gamers and for those who like to consume video content on their laptops, this has a response time of 0.2 milliseconds. Still in my so speaking of build quality for working professionals, there's nothing more important than having something that's light and compact and sturdy. You can already see just how thin and light it is. I validated this myself and it is 1.2 kilos. Then just like the previous ZenBook, you have the 180 degree hinge and the ergo lift thingy that allows for better airflow at the back and at the bottom of the chassis. So if you travel quite a bit or you're in a hybrid work environment or just simply want to stay connected while you're in vacation, this is the perfect laptop. Now, as far as components are concerned, it packs all of the essentials and then some. So check this out. Wi-Fi 6E radio, super linear speakers, two Thunderbolt 4 ports. It also comes with a regular sized HDMI port. USB 3.2 type A port and of course a 3.5 millimeter combo audio jack. Anything missing? Card reader, fingerprint reader, ErgoSense touchpad. Those things were on the previous generation of the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED. So let me know in the comments. Turn them to a game. So despite being super thin and light, they managed to pack a 75 watt hour battery here which according to ASUS will last you roughly 15 hours. Now, we tested that ourselves and so far we were able to go up to 12 hours. Although I'm not too fond of this stock power adapter, it's too big and bulky. You can always get a compact one like this one from Anchor. But the point is you will be able to charge via a power bank. So let's recap. Our top three are display, build quality, battery life. I haven't talked about performance and you know why? For office work, don't need a lot. 
don't need the most powerful hardware run office apps teams sharepoint zoom browser but if you're into software work or if you're creative that works with images and photos and videos or architectural stuff or interior design, then guys, check this out. This laptop runs on the Intel Core Ultra 7 155H CPU for 3D applications and games. It packs an onboard GPU as well as a discrete Intel Arc graphics running at 2.2 GHz with ray tracing support. For memory and storage, it comes with 16 GB of LPDDR5 that's soldered on board. You can't expand it. There are no expansion slots. Then for storage, you have a 512 GB M.2 PCIe Gen 4 SSD pre-installed but you can probably replace that with one with a higher capacity. As far as benchmarks are concerned, we were able to get around 10K in PC mark, which should be more than enough to meet most of your productivity needs. And I'm pretty happy with these numbers. Looking at how thin and light this laptop is, I can't really complain. Just to quickly touch on gaming, this is not a gaming laptop but if you want to play games you will be able to enjoy casual games the heavier games the ones that have come out recently such as pal world you're gonna have to tweak the graphics in order to get better frame rates or run it at a lower resolution so speaking of complaints its biggest drawback is really the memory 16 gigs is very limiting although it can meet the needs of an average productivity worker if you want to do a bit of heavy lifting then you're gonna need at least 32 gigs my baseline is 8 gigs and that's with just the browser running in my desktop now this could have been easily overcome by having a replaceable memory module then on a minor note the horrendously big psu since we're nitpicking i do have to say that this thing is a huge smudge magnet. Price, well, Asus won't tell us, but we do know that the previous generation came out at around 59,995,000 pesos or 60K in the Philippines. So expect that the new Zenbook 14 OLED 2023 is gonna be priced around that same ballpark, 55, 60K. Will I be willing to pay more? Personally, if they're going to be charging more, then they better have more memory. Perhaps put back the ErgoSense keypad or have a touch screen or stylus support. I don't know. You guys let me know what you're looking for in a productivity laptop in 2024. And we'll see you guys in the comments. Alam. Go, 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 go. You got a mind, but even that could change, you could flip the grade.